Welcome back, dear viewers, to the RPG Imaginarium, where here we seek to catalog the best traditional gaming stories the internet has to offer. Tonight we bring you the story of Thorgun the Barbarian, and his not-so-simple quest to slay the dragon that raised his village. The story was posted by an anonymous user on 4chan's TG board. As always, a link to the original will be posted below. One of my friends decided to run a game. We've always been playing RPGs a lot of the time together, and I've never seen him DM, so obviously I was a bit curious how it might turn out. He always was an alright player, fun to have fun with. Also, he always reminded me of the offspring and a bear and a huge dog might have possibly have had. You know, in a parallel universe where biology doesn't work like ours does? I guess that's not important though. I was told to prepare myself a character using D&D 3.5. Well, I thought it could have been worse, it could have been fatal. Also, all of us know that it is the GM that makes the game and not the system and so on, so instead of complaining, I rolled with it, a character. DM told me that I can do this myself and that he only wants to see the results. Also that I should aim for a tribal feel, that playing casters were discouraged, and that he wouldn't mind a bit of min-maxing. Oh, and I had to make a human. Well fine, I thought, and made myself a barbarian. At least those damn casters won't steal our spotlight and I can expect manly men doing manly things. This, or the DM, is going to introduce some kind of OP Merlin DM PC, but I kept this thought to myself. Since I was starting at a low level, I decided not to overblow my history. Adopted son of a local fisherman, mysterious child, blah 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 blah, dreams about being a warrior, but in this tribe your father, biological father, had to back you up if you wanted to become a weapon thane. So he trained himself, thus the barbarian. I sent this all to my DM, soon I received a reply, cool. Please come at 4 p.m. Well, I get there a bit late, but there is nobody in except me and him. He smiles and nods, says that the rest will arrive a bit later, and that he wants to get my character a proper introduction. It was weird, but we've been total bros for a long time, so I sat down. He brought some refreshments, offered me a beer, cracked himself one. I think it was my first clue as to what kind of game we will be playing, and hid behind his DM screen. First, we roleplay through some childhood scenes. Your character faces bullies, your character sees his friend bullied, your character is generally disliked due to the air of wrongness he has around himself, your character finds out that the A4 of mentioned fisherman is not his real father, and so on and so on. Soon I have my character fleshed out, a warrior that tries to own the rage smothering within him as just another weapon. For some reason, the DM smiles when I tell him that. Then the real quest begins. Thorgun the Barbarian leaves his hamlet for hunting, and when he returns he finds the village burning and the corpses charred with dragon fire. It was much cooler when he told that, but that was basically what it boiled down to. Thorgun seeks revenge. Also, he was unable to find the corpse of his love amongst the dead, so hoping that the dragon might have kidnapped her, he follows him. Through the forest and the desert, killing wolves and wild beasts, saving villages from dangers, visiting ancient temples in the hope of finding a dragon slaying sword, more than once just barely escaping with his life. Some NPCs turn up, major character arcs ensue, but all the time I wonder where the hell are the other players? As I ask the GM about this, he smiles and says one of them will be turn up soon. I expect something creepy to happen, but lo and behold, a guy actually arrives. You have no idea how relieved I felt. Pleasantries ensued, GM cracked himself yet another beer, and we returned to the game. The new guy just sat there, also smiling. Bad sign, good sign. Playing with some papers he brought with himself. My barbarian prepared a poisoned sheep to cripple the dragon. I also got myself a huge trunk to use as a club, keeping dragon slaying sword at hand. The plan was simple. Either poison him, or, if that wouldn't work, sneak into his cavern and club him to death. It worked. Partially. The dragon ate the sheep, but instead of falling dead, he started vomiting. So, deciding that the cover was already blown, I grabbed my tree and ran out of the bushes, screaming like an idiot. I managed to catch him with a trunk hit while he was barfing, so I had a lot of time to follow up with a couple more blows. I nearly managed to beat him to a pulp when he shook it off and faced me, however mangled and sick he was. Well, I dodged the vomit breath attack and stabbed him with my magical sword a few times. The beast fell and my barbarian started screaming with joy. Then another dragon turned up, and another, and their mother. I stare at my GM for a moment in an, are you serious way? He tells me that the dragons roar in unison that their mother pounces at me. While well, fucking counters with CR do high, I start zerking, and the dragon is blown aside with powerful magical beams. 
Oh great, I thought. DMPC wizard. But no. A huge glistening beast appears from the sky, throwing one thunder of fiery red death after another at the vile beast. The dragon's body spasms and twitches at the very life is burned out of it. With an ungodly roar, the gray monster that apparently saved you lands on Earth, sporting stinking fumes. I slightly wadded. Two remaining drakes move back a little, apparently horrified by the death of their mother and the new monster. You have a feeling that it stares at you through its huge black eyes. Well, I charged it with my trunk. Its huge maw opens, roaring even louder and surrounding itself with great vapors. But not before Thorgon rushed it with his mighty club. Rollin', rollin', he managed to catch it at the knee joint, apparently crippling it gravely. The DM describes the beast collapsing, and I start to wonder whether I just one-shot it at an encounter. But then the other guy, I've nearly forgotten about him. Also, two girls came around in the meantime. Still, the player speaks, looking as though he is about to burst into laughter at any moment now. Out of the beast's remains, you see a huge ogre rising. He is clad in blood red steel, decorated with the imagery of a black raven. He gives Thorgon a long stare. I get ready to yell like charge and looks aside at the wormlings. He raises his hand, holding a weird wand with it, points it at them, and he looks at the GM. The GM nods, blasts them apart in a matter of a few thundering moments. I what? And then I smile. The figure comes a few earth shaking steps closer at you, and all you can see is his armor. Even though his physical supremacy is obvious, he falls to one knee. The earth thunders as he does it. Then you hear a booming, stunningly loud and alien voice. It says, My Lord Von Trovalt, finally I found you. The GM hands me a new character sheet. It reads Rogue Trader on top of it, and is filled with something quite resembling the stats of the D&D character I've prepared earlier. Unluckily, I bear grave news. Your father is dead, killed by treacherous poison of forsaken Eldar witches. Most of your siblings were blown apart together with a ship in a battle that ensued a few moments after your father's demise. Now you, as the eldest son of the Von Trovalts, are the righteous bearer of the Warrant of Trade. I feel obligated to. Then Thorgun did exactly what he would have done to any other scary monster speaking incomprehensible things. He slapped it with a tree. This began the great galactic journey of Thorgun Von Trovalt, another in a long line of great and honored rogue traders. Oh, and I kept my sword. Thank you all for once again tuning into another RPG Imaginarium. We're glad you enjoy these videos and stories. If you enjoyed this video and want more like it, how about giving us a like and subscribing to our channel? We're always glad to hear your feedback, and if you have a story you'd like us to read, go ahead and send us a link, whether it's your story or post it somewhere else. And of course, we will credit you and the original poster. We also have the all new Fangled social media you can follow us on, and if you'd like to support us financially, how about you check out our resident GM Chaz's books on Amazon Kindle? A special thanks to 4chan's TG board and Reddit, and to their associated archives and subreddits for providing such great stories. Thanks again, and stay caffeinated. <laughs>